Multimedia Approach This method is a blend of text, audio, animation, video, still images, or interactivity content forms to teach diverse, difficult to understand concepts in science. The educator can convey vast information using advanced media, devices and techniques and involve a wide range of activities to provide a meaningful learning experience. ICT Enabled Learning ICT refers to the use of information and communications technology to teach the scientific ideas that promotes open source learning. In order to make the accessing, storing, transmitting, and manipulation of information more easy, this approach integrates telecommunications, computers, and relevant enterprise software, storage, middleware, and audiovisual systems required to handle the topic. Video clips. This teaching technique makes use of instructional video clips available online or in libraries to show and teach a new concept. The evolution of a process can be conveyed better with animation videos. It can also be videos of demonstration of an idea or an application side of a jury or an interview with a scientist, tutorial by a subject expert, and more. PowerPoints Instead of the conventional talk and chalk methods, teachers now include PowerPoint presentations in their classroom sessions to make it more interesting. They connect the computers to projectors to address a larger classroom and include interesting slides with diagrams and flowcharts to make the teaching more interactive. Mini Labs Mini Labs allow students to take part in hands-on activities inside the classrooms to illustrate a concept. This makes classroom sessions more fun, engaging, and memorable. Students can attempt to mock up day or night with a globe and flashlight, build circuits, test for conductivity and magnetism, produce mixtures and solutions, or model the formation of sedimentary rock and more. Science Fair Schools should conduct science fairs as part of their teaching strategy to promote students' interest in the subject as well as to evaluate their level of understanding. In this competition, students are given a time frame to answer a question or perform a task through a range of experiments and research. They showcase the output in the form of reports, display board, or as models. Research books. The teacher can promote the use of research books in classrooms rather than just a textbooks and lecture notes. Students are asked to do a research on whatever topic is covered in class by means of libraries, websites, or by talking with experts. This can include extended information of their syllabus and their findings with diagrams and charts to emphasize it. They can share their research books with classmates too. Documented Problem Solving In this method, the teacher insists students record their thought process when solving a problem. They are asked to explain their reasoning for reaching the particular solution rather than simply presenting a solution. This kind of documented problem solving helps them to have a deeper understanding of their process and gives an option for self-analysis. Science Kit this is one of the innovative methods of teaching science to kids and adults alike. Let it be physical science, life science, or earth science. Teachers are now making use of science kits to help students have an engaging educational experience. They can conduct small experiments with guided instructions to identify rock specimens, to watch out for insect metamorphosis, or demonstrate chemistry reactions. Science stations. This is a fun, 
quick and engaging way to teach science that promotes student-led learning. Science stations support differentiated learning that lets students immerse themselves in topics, experience science to the fullest, and then reflect back on their learning. There will be multiple stations built with different learning styles and students can research, explore, watch, read, write, assess, and illustrate the science concepts. Observation Stations more than just the textbook assignments that have limitations in exploring the topic, these advanced observation stations help students to build up the research observation and creativity. This includes activities that help them to have an understanding of a specific concept using five to six stations with varied options. The activities include determining mass using a triple beam balance or testing objects to find out their electrical, conductivity, and magnetism, and a lot more. Peer-to-peer -peer teaching. Students take the role of teaching each other that promotes excitement learning science. In peer-to-peer -peer teaching approach, they are really engaged in the content by discussing scientific topics, generating questions, and working in teams to explore new information. Some of the activities involved in this approach include buzz groups, solution groups, and critic groups. Science Movies Teachers take initiatives to take them for science movies in theaters or in school halls that clearly showcase the application side of scientific concepts. More than just entertaining them, many science movies captivate their attention and illustrate a diverse science concepts in the real world. Science and nature-focused documentaries is one of the best ways to introduce a science to kids than spoon-feeding them with textbook content. Science Games for Kids Kids always love to play, and that is why smart teachers introduce a science to them with interesting games. They can learn more about science and technology with fun. A wide range of games are available online that showcase the concepts of animals, plants, space, forces, light, sounds, magnets, electricity, weather, and gases. There are games with multiple levels and passing each level teaches a new concept and illustrates scientific experiments. Science Songs This is another creative teaching method to help kids to learn about the science world with fun. Teachers can make use of the interesting science songs available online or create one to introduce the basics of astronomy, biology, botany, physical science, and earth science with fun. Science is real. Meet the elements. The star song and motion song are a few among the popular science songs available online. Science Exhibition Encourage your students to take part in science exhibitions as part of a school level or inter-school level competitions. This is a great opportunity to bring out their creativity in science and design an application based on a scientific concept. Develop this acquisitiveness and creative mindset in students right from the elementary classes to help them to grow up as science enthusiasts. Mobile apps for science. A number of mobile apps are available online for elementary, middle school, and high school students as well as for those undergoing advanced studies. Today's kids are tech surveys and they love to learn science using their gadgets. The advanced mobile apps built with innovative features in fact turn students into scientists. This lets them hold science in their hands and explore it with just a few taps. The popular apps in the category include Human Body, Cosmic Zoom, Earth Primer, Video Science, Science 360, NASA Globe Observer, and a lot more. Field Trips in the middle of boring classroom sessions, take your students out for field trips to experience science while learning. Go to an aquarium 
a nature center, a scientist home, or visit a pet store. You can also spend some time with the students in the bird park or simply go on a nature walk to experience the science around while learning new concepts. Science Clubs Set up science clubs in your schools or community, which is an ideal approach to STEM education that assimilates high-quality hands-on instruction. This is the right place for science enthusiasts to share and discuss new happenings in the science world and to connect innovative ideas to what they actually learned. Reward Discovery Right from the elementary classes, teachers should support, guide, and inspire students to discover the wonders of science. With an inquisitive mindset, there are a lot to discover from the science world we are living in. Also, reward them for the small discoveries that they make and let them share and present it in class. Interactive Science Journals this is an advanced version of lecture notes in which students express the information they learned into different templates and elicit their own responses. Students can use this technique effectively to have a deeper connection to their learning and this activity promotes their higher level thinking. They can be creative with their notebooks using pictures, charts, and comments, thus building an encompassing resource for future reference. Science at Home Like scientists say, science starts from home. Encourage your students to discover science at home from elementary classes itself. Ask them to find out the specific science concept application at home as assignments and let them discover science on the go. There are fun science activities at home that involve parents and kids such as measuring Earth's circumference with a shadow, creating underwater fireworks with chemistry, building a balloon-powered toy car, and a lot more. Fleet Classroom in this innovative teaching technique, students are asked to go through video instructions or tutorials in the initial stage, for example, digital learning. The second stage will be in classrooms where they involve in challenging tasks and assignments based on the information gathered through video assets. This flip learning freeze app class time for activities such as hands-on labs, guided practice, or online simulations. Guided Discovery Problems Understanding science is more than just knowing some facts and the guided discovery problems method makes it possible. This technique can be integrated into the lecture, lab, and field courses. It refers to understanding science step by step through the discovery process and involves the collection and processing of data, debugging and explaining it through intriguing puzzles, structure hands-on activities, and write presentation of information. The conceptually difficult or counterintuitive topics are better handled with this approach. Fishbone this is a visual tool for organizing critical thinking, which is a good approach for problem solving in science. The fishbone diagram helps to teach students about the root causes leading to a problem and quantifying the relationship between the effect and cause. This is more effective when teaching a group. In this diagram approach, the head of the fish represents the change. The ribs show the reason and riblets have the supportive evidence. Science Quiz Include a quiz as a part of your classroom sessions when teaching science. This can be done as a whole class activity by splitting the group into four or more sets. The questions can include the application of the theory taught in class. Students can discuss and share ideas to find the solution within the stipulated time frame. This teaching approach helps students to think from different angles and sometimes to think out of the box. Build your model. This can be a challenging task given to students as part of science education. Models are the building blocks of science which are used to explain the diverse aspects of real world. Ask your students to build their own model using the scientific knowledge they have acquired and you can provide supportive guidance. 
Students will be creative in making models and designing their own imaginative means of testing them. This is the right approach to find the scientists in them. The new era teachers and science enthusiasts have come up with many innovative teaching methods in science and the listed ones are just a few among them. We live in a scientific world and the advanced teaching strategies are helping students to discover and explore science every day. Other than the listed methods, teachers looking for advanced techniques can also try group discussion, case studies, laboratory experiments, seminar, outdoor teaching, creative illustration, crafts, dramatization, and interactive lecture demonstration to help students to experience the beauty of science. Thank you for listening. For more related videos about this topic, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!